Uh, I'm Izumi Ozawa, and uh, uh, this is my lab. And I'm going to show you what we are doing here. We are recording right now, recording from a single neuron in the visual cortex. And uh, the animal anesthetized, and it's sitting there, uh, watching a CRT screen, the uh, computer display, like this. And uh, right now we are uh, measuring its responses to, to different uh, stripe patterns. You may not be able to see individual patterns, but you can see that it's uh, really uh, changing quite fast. I'm going to stop it here and I'm going to show you how we do it from the beginning. Let's uh, avoid it now. And uh, here we have uh, a Mac running Windows. And uh, the kind of stimulus that we use uh, initially is a sinusoidal uh, rating pattern like this. You can see it here. It's uh, drifting up and to the left. And uh, we can change the, uh, the uh, angle, it's called orientation, uh, by using a mouse control here. And uh, the neurons in, in uh, the area that we are recording from, D1, is very sensitive to the orientation. One neuron is uh, selected to just one orientation. And uh, we're controlling it, and you can see the change in the in the real pattern affected over there. Well, so the, these are the responses from a single neuron um, in the visual cortex, and it's responding to the visual pattern. Um, these pulses are uh, what uh, what's uh, conveying the information um, between neurons, and these are called action potentials. We use about uh, you know, four or five different computers to do these experiments, and uh, here's one. Um, this is the main machine that we use to control the entire experiment, mm -hmm. and uh, in addition to that, we have a different computer, another computer that is dedicated for uh, generating visual stimuli. Right now, this is in the search mode. response is going So we dedicate another computer for, for just uh, generating uh, visual stimuli. And what we have here is a copy of uh, what the animal is looking at. It's uh, the actual display that the animal is looking at is, is a little larger than this. But this is for us to look at what the animal is looking at. And we have another computer that is dedicated for acquiring data, action potential data. And, um, so, <coughs> Megumi here is controlling the, uh, the spike sorter. And this spike sorter is, is a very old one, a uh, 20 year old machine. Um, uh, that's the one that uh, I'm setting up. This, this one, this one. Yeah, that's, that's it. <laughs> Yeah. Um, uh, which is uh, useful uh, recording from uh, many neur neurons at the same time using multi-electrode. But on this side, um, we have uh, how many computers? Two, two computers uh, just for analyzing the data. Mm. Uh, data saved on the disk and then shared by file sharing to these computers and we can look at uh, uh, the data while the experiment is going on uh, on the other system, uh, the other experiment system. Okay, so let's just stop it and uh, uh, so far I've been controlling the stimulus by hand uh, using the mouse, but uh, we can just control it, uh, let the computer control it in a systematic way. And we have a preset um, um, candy experiment, which we can load from a file and then adjusting the basic parameters, we can just uh, let the computer uh, uh, test the neuron uh, yeah, by showing you know, different patterns. 
and the recording all the responses. And right now it's uh, pre-computing uh, all the uh, stimuli uh, that it's going to use during the experiment. And uh, you can see a bar growing here. Oh, it just started an experiment. You can see the, uh, the pattern displayed over there. And it's displaying about uh, 30 stimuli per second. And uh, each one of those is a single grading, a single stripe pattern. And we are changing the orientation and the spatial frequency, the coarseness, uh, in a very rapid way. And it's randomized. But the computer <coughs> knows what's present presented when, so it can uh, reverse back and uh, sort it out and uh, create a map of uh, res responses. So let's go back uh, and uh, onto the computers here. And this is a computer which is um, used for analyzing the data. And here we see uh, data from uh, previous uh, experiments uh, from this animal. And uh, we can see that uh, this is recorded at uh, 4 a.m. this morning. Mm -hmm. And we're going to look at the uh, the data here. You see uh, that red spot here? That's a response. And in this domain, rest of the uh, the points are black, which means that the cell didn't respond to these parameters. The parameters are here along the horizontal axis. It's spatial frequency. It's the um, the coarseness or the fineness of the pattern. So on the right, it's one cycle per degree. It's it's a fairly high spatial frequency for this animal. And the vertical axis uh, shows the uh, orientation of the stimulus. So it's preferring about 40 degrees of angle orientation and about 0.2 or 3 cycles, cycles per degree of the, uh, the spatial frequency. And we do a fitting, Gaussian fit, and which is shown here. And uh, so that's the raw data, and uh, these lines are the Gaussian fit. This is the Ga Gaussian fit profile. So, right. uh, so that's the polar representation of this uh, uh, data. And uh, here, uh, because it was a complex cell, we can't really look at the receptive field, but we can look at the, uh, the internal structure of uh, <clears throat> the cell's receptive field. The receptive field is something that the cell is looking at. It, it, each of these neurons have a very limited uh, visual field. Mm -hmm. And it's, as you can see, it's about a uh, few degrees uh, in size, in diameter. And uh, because it's oriented like this, uh, this determines the uh, orientation preference of the particular neuron. So this can be computed from uh, the data that was measured in the frequency domain, this, um, you know, the <coughs> uh, which uh, stripe pattern it light, and uh, to what extent that the stimuli were effective. So these are some of the first measurements that we do when we get a neuron or a group of neurons. And from this point on, We'll do more elaborate measurements uh, to find more about these neurons. And if you're interested in more, please um, visit our website, which is shown here, or call me or email me. Thank you.